Stairway to Freedom, Forward. Should those who are troubled in their hearts and minds concerning the validity of experience gained during meditation and prayer seek reassurance that those experiences are valid, cogent and based upon reality, there are, unfortunately, no books, manuals or primers to which he can refer for verification. This is because his experiences in the astral realms make use of the same faculties that imagination also use, and therefore any experiences noted by those who, by nature or by intent, are able to enter the astral realms, tend to be ignored or put aside, expecting them to be a figment of that imagination and therefore to have no basis in reality. Traditionally, those people who have the strength of personality enabling them to command the attention of the public through speeches and publications and who might have been able to explain to the public that psychic experiences can be valid have been barred from doing so by that very strength of personality, that level-headedness so admired by those of the earth. The few prophets and soothsayers that have existed throughout the long ages of man have been generally dismissed by establishment as being of unsound mind. The result, as was mentioned above, is that explorers into the realms of spirituality are forced, by and large, to travel alone and forge experience for themselves, testing its validity by the old adages composed to test the value of experience. This unsatisfactory state of affairs has existed for far too long, and it has been decreed that it should no longer continue to be. There is a movement afoot to present to the world sufficient information written in plain language that will enable all students of the mysteries of life to use as handbooks for their journeys. There is no danger of abuse of this information by those of evil intent. Spirituality, its gaining and its use, is a function of soul growth, and that can only be gained by those following the path towards God. All others are standing still in terms of soul growth or are actually going backwards if they are involved in harmful activities. So the information to be revealed would be of no use to such people. They may wish to experiment but would be unable to operate in the spiritual realms. Just as a man may leap from a cliff top to test his abilities to fly like a bird, Without the correct equipment, he merely plunges to destruction on the rocks below. Similarly, the uninitiated would be barred from entering the larger realities of life until he had equipped himself through prayer, meditation and devotion to God for so doing. It is intended that the information released through instruments chosen for their suitability, will form the basis of every individual's spirit growth, not only whilst incarnate on earth, but will continue into the life hereafter, that such information will be correlated into a cohesive set that will, in essence, interrelate with similar information being transmitted throughout the world. Thus we wish to present that the information will be at one with all truth that has or will be presented to the public. It is in the interest of the student to sift such information as he comes across to ensure that it touches his soul with truth and to reject that which is clearly the figment of the imagination of someone who without having achieved the necessary soul growth so as to have acquired universal wisdom, nevertheless has produced information purporting to be of spiritual value. 
With a little practice and some spiritual development, the student will quickly sift the wheat from the chaff. We look forward to the day when library shelves and the homes of peace-loving peoples throughout the world are equipped with the necessary information so as to allow the young from a very early age when purity is automatic and soul growth could be more easily achieved to have access to the relevant information to set them upon the path that religions throughout time have tried to do and have failed. We look forward to the day when, as the truth concerning the oneness of all mankind is realized, that the peoples of the world lay down their weapons, refuse to fight, open the barriers between countries, and celebrate the God made manifest in man. Such a day, whilst far off at the moment, is destined to occur, and it behoves all who can to speed that day. Further, it is anticipated that the day will dawn where man incarnate on earth and man discarnate in spirit will communicate freely as was intended. Then truly will all barriers have been lowered and the beauty of God's creation will shine in the glory that has for so long been prevented by the tarnish of ego and hate complexes. Do not be put off or dismayed by the apparent length of the journey. Do not take account of the warnings and admonitions of those who would view such freedom with horror and fear. Do not be convinced that religion is more important than the development of the power of God within you as an individual, nor yet be persuaded that you have to bow down to any man, any force, any deity other than God. Should you have already achieved the necessary development, you will understand the meaning of these words. You will have already doubted the value of patriotism, of religious dogma, of conventionality and conformity to a norm created by those tied to the earth and whose souls sleep still. Prepare to leave those people sleeping still and take the path to freedom. The way is ready the path made smooth, and the goal awaits you. Join us, brother and sister, and be welcome as one with us and with God. Such is the destiny of man. How sad that through fear, ignorance, and for the sake of power, religious leaders, politicians, and leaders of trade unions, etc., have chained their fellow man to the shackles of their own ideas. This state of affairs is doomed to failure and must end. The time, as always, is ever ripe. The message contained within these lines was given by the Master Jesus many years ago and was stated by the various prophets before and after, and still the world is in chains, both physical and metaphoric. This is an abomination to the concept of God, it is up to all individuals when ready to take the path alone to God. Others they will meet en route and finally they will join the mass of liberated souls constantly celebrating the beauty and wonder of life. Stay no longer in the shadows of the fear portrayed by those who know no better. Step into the light and join the pilgrims, the prophets and the master on the road to perfection. You will never regret it, and you will never again be swayed into areas of hate by those who have used and abused you for their own doubtful ends. They will have no further hold on you. You will be beyond their grasp, and the power of God, his angelic forces, will protect you from them. The anguish of the fallen ones will be great initially, as they see their flock disappearing into the arms of God, one by one, they will use all the forces at their disposal to prevent it from happening. But, remember, the power of God is greater than the power of evil. The power of God is further strengthened by every soul who turns to God and does God's work. The power of evil is diminished in the same respect. Ultimately, 
the good will triumph and wars, strife and unhappiness will cease. This is the end of the foreword.